In this video, I'm going to briefly introduce you to some basic textures and materials that you can use inside of Maya. We're going to look at three of the core material types, including the Fong, the Lambert, and the Blind. I will take you through the Hypershade window and show you how you can apply these to your models in your scene. To begin, though, I am going to be working with the Maya software renderer, and what I have here are three polygonal models that we'll use to demonstrate each of the three material types. So I'm going to keep the render view up for right now. And the first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to navigate to and bring up the Hypershade window. To locate the Hypershade window, you're going to want to locate on your modeling bar all the way towards the end past the renderers. You're going to see a small circle that looks like it has an indented white circle inside of it. And when you hover over it, it's going to say display hypershade window. Now when I open this, it takes me into the hypershade window environment. Anytime you make a brand new Maya file, by default, you are going to have several pre-made surface, glows, particles, and a Lambert material. The Lambert one is always going to be applied to any base polygonal model you make inside of Maya. Normally, I advise folks to just leave this as is. Don't make any changes to this. Any changes regarding color or texture you make to the Lambert 1 will subsequently go down and actually trickle across all elements in the scene that have that material applied to it. Now, to navigate and start selecting specific materials you would like to work with, you have a Create area down in the left-hand side here where you have several ways of looking at this. Number one, you can navigate through specific Maya elements as far as different surface elements, volumetric and textures, and so on and so forth, where you can click and choose each element. Or if you wanted to, there is a search bar at the top here. So for instance, if I wanted to start off with the Fong element, I would bring up my Fong materials here. As a quick side note, there is a section for Arnold. You do not want to actually work with Arnold if you're working in the Maya software renderer. There are other videos out there that cover Arnold and its textures. So to begin, I'm going to go ahead and select Fong. And when I click on that, several things occur. First off, the Fong is going to appear inside of our node environment where I can do more work. When you're starting out though with Maya, I would advise you to just start out with the basics. Another thing you can note is up under materials, you should now see that the Fong now appears there. And then you have several options as far as the property editor. You can also see too that I now have a shader ball available to me that I can look at as far as the overall output. Now, Fong materials are great for glass or glossy surfaces. And you can do a lot of interesting things with these. One thing I am going to do first off is under Fong here is I'm going to change this and call this Demo Fong Material. This is normally a good idea to do as far as you have multiple materials in a single file. It's going to get difficult as far as navigating through 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, let's say I want to change the color. Under the color drop down menu here, I can go ahead and click and I can choose a different color. So maybe I go and choose a magenta. I can also change as far as the overall transparency of the shape. I can change as far as the overall diffuse and many other different options. You can also change as far as the reflectivity as far as lighting is concerned. You can even change as far as the overall cosine power of how much of the lighting area is actually being reflected back. There are a lot of additional tutorials out there that take you through each of these individual steps, and I encourage folks to go and look at those. Again, this is just to help get you started. So maybe I'll add just a little bit of transparency to the overall design here. And as far as a transparent color, maybe I'll go to more of like just the standard gray. Maybe I'll keep it there. And now it's time to actually apply your material to an element in your scene. To do this, 
you're going to want to come into the scene and if you just right click on one of your objects, you're going to get a pop down menu where down at the very, very bottom is what you're looking for and you want to find assign existing material. And this right here is why I encourage folks, you want to name your materials. It'll be easier to find the example. So now you can see in my scene, I now have the demo material applied. And if I go in and I do a re-render, there you can see it's now appearing in the render window. Now you also have two other types of basic material types that you can work with in Maya. The next is a blind. Blind is fantastic for working with and creating metallic surfaces. It reacts well to lighting and can also be used as far as making great reflections. So I'm going to call this demo blind material. And once again, the big things that you might want to change on this is the color, but also the eccentricity. Notice as I change this on the hardware on the shader ball, you can see that it actually gets more reflective. And now what I can do is right click and assign an existing material. And once again, why I named it this way so that I can actually apply it to the object. Now, if I come back to my render window and I do another render there, you can see it's popping up there. You're not getting as much of a metallic sense just because we don't have any lighting and we don't have any scene elements inside of this scene. The last item to talk about here and the final kind of base material is a Lambert material, which is actually the default that all items start off with whenever you're working in Maya. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Lambert and this is more of a matted type finish here. So I will go ahead and call this As you might notice here, it has way fewer options in comparison to its counterparts, such as your blind and your fong material. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to change the color, maybe lighten the color just a little bit here, and then come in and select the last object in the scene and assign my existing material and find that demo. And now I've created all three of my different elements here. So these are some of the basics as far as working with probably three of your most common materials that can take you very far in Maya as far as doing different types of render options and creating different types of texture effects.